G'day, welcome to another episode of Aaron Hahn Studio Presents How to Drill a Hole in a Tile. I have done a video before, you might have seen it, where I did demonstrate up here how to actually drill a hole in a tile. In this case, we're going to show you how to drill a large hole in a tile. I'm a professional tiler, and the way us tilers do it is when it comes to drilling a large hole in a tile, we don't. You do not use these expensive diamond hole saws that people in other YouTube channels may have showed you that to drill a hole, you don't do that. It's, it's a waste of money, waste of time. So to demonstrate this easily for you, I'm gonna rip out everything you see here. I'm gonna rebuild it and I'm gonna put holes in here to give you a clear example of exactly how a tiler actually puts large holes in a tile. You maybe want, uh, clicked on this video because you wanna do a, a floor waste, like a large hole to put a floor waste to do some tiling. Hang on, how do I do that? We are going to be doing another video later on on how to fully renovate a bathroom. We're gonna show you everything. And I will show you in that one, but in this case, let's just get on with it. Okay, so to mark our hole dead easy, we start off with the hole tile, obviously the one at the bottom, makes sense. And we need a bit of a gap off the surface of whatever we're working off, and to keep it consistent and just a nice sort of size, I've got a couple of pop sticks here, and I just glued them together, and uh, I think the twin pole pop sticks. So we're gonna pop them there, unintended, and uh, place that across, bring it across to uh, where our spindle is. I'm gonna mark the absolute bare minimum, even though the hole we will be making will be larger but I need to know at the absolute minimum of what it will be so if I go about there mark there from there mark there it is a permanent marker doesn't matter if you got it wrong I just lick my thumb wipe it off and she's gone so don't panic about that and then obviously to then get the next to get across we go up across and then to where we want I'm just checking along there a little bit of a muck there but I might so I might just go over the top of that so let's bring it to there and then do the same at the base mark it there and we marked it there so obviously through the middle there through the middle of that one that's where our hole's going to be for this particular example a hole of about 40 millimeters and that would be nice you could get away with a bit smaller as long as you have a barrel spanner to be able to access that but if you want to be able to get a regular spanner on it at it, uh, make sure that yeah 40 millimeters would be good in this circumstance don't go too large, of course, because your flange uh, has to be able to remain uh, to hide the hole itself. You can see we're going with this. We've got, got our four marks, and that's roughly where we want our, our point to be. Don't damage the tile. On our cut point, I'm going to pick just pick one of these marks, just one at a time. We're going to, we're going to create a square. Bring that down to there. It's cross section. It's, you can see it's opposite to that. If you go slightly over the mark, it's not going to matter because remember the hole that we want is slightly larger than this. Remember how we went to the to the minimum. This is important, this point. Again, to there. From that point there. To that point there. Swing it 90 degrees. Bring it over. Much easier this time because you've got two already two scribe marks. Slide that over to that point there where it matches. Okay, so now we have ourselves a square. You might be thinking, hey, but we want a circle, we want a hole, not a square. Now, what do we say? It was about 40 mil, 38 mil, something like that for this particular one. I'm going to place that over the top of the square and just draw the circle that we want. And there you go. We've got a sort of square within the tile. We know that the center of that circle is exactly where we want that hole to be. If you've never done it before, use a square of some kind. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can put it up across the dot, scribe your mark, scribe your mark with your pen so that you don't accidentally go past the actual area. That's okay, because, but you will have a flange that goes over the top to protect it. But if you scratch your tile, that's it, you've scratched it. But basically what we've just created is a square within a circle. And it's the beautiful part about this is it doesn't matter what size hole you want, the principle is the same. Okay, quick hints and tips moment. Is there a difference between cutters? The answer is absolutely yes. A ceramic tile is a soft tile. Therefore, you want a hard cutting tool. A porcelain tile is a hard tile, therefore you want a soft tool. Even though this particular cutter here, you can see, kind of looks like a brick cutter, it actually isn't. It is, I paid a lot more for this. This was about $32 versus like $15 for that. 
and you must perceive there is a difference between a ceramic to a porcelain cutter is that that bit there you'll pay more for this because the actual temperament of that steel is different it's much softer still a diamond cut but much softer anyway that aside this is a ceramic tile so we don't need the porcelain we go with it just back to the cheap ceramic is fine so what we do here we've got the circle that's what we want As you can see from the square, we just got an edu educated guess. We're going to cut right through. It hasn't gone right quite through because this is quite a small hole that we're doing. A little bit larger would be better. But we're just going to take a bit of an educated guess here as to where the centre of this is. There's our centre. Two through there. Make a mark there. There's our centre. I'm just going to make a mark there. That's the marker there. Okay. Now that I've got those, I can then make a mark there, make a mark there, so now I know that's basically my centre, it couldn't hurt, I could take a guess, but the markings, you know that this is the circle that we want. But we also know it's on a diagonal through here. Yeah. So to find it, I quickly can see what I've done. We've now gone right through, and we can assure ourselves of exactly where that where that is. Now this is the important part here. The reason why we've done it like this, because we now want to bowl this out so we can actually create the circle that we want. So this is why a smaller grinder like a hundred mil is better because the diameter is a tighter curve a larger like much larger disc is going to give you a much wider curve we don't want that the smaller the better Instant tip moment. You notice I've got on some carpet. This is on purpose. This is what I've done. I've done a thousand tiles on this. Just get an old piece of carpet. Carpet's great. It's got some traction on it. It's an old bit of carpet. So if I went through and hit the carpet, it's not going to matter. The, the, the old carpet is soft. Right? It, therefore, it, it's not going to scratch and damage your tile. And it can't hurt now that we know where our placing is. Lick my thumb. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is where the fun begins. Now this is where we save a lot of money. You need a couple of tools like this. You want, definitely want what's known as a parrot's beak uh, snips. You see these are pretty old, they've done the, done the yards. But this here I got for about $12. That was about $25, something like that. And it's a very good quality pair. But you'll notice quickly that it is curved. See there's a curve in it. That's all you need, literally. With these three tools, you can do any size hole you want. From the outside of the tile, from this from this space, do not go from this side. Go from this side. You get that? All right. Now you quickly see why did we scribe the square? That was why. We didn't want the, as I chipped that through, we certainly did not want that going beyond the circle that we wanted. And from here, simply grab that. With this technique, is, is basically this. You're not using that to snap and, and cut it. What you're doing is you're grabbing it and then you're prying it. Sort of getting a hold of it and then you're pulling it. So it's literally a pulling action. Always from underneath, down that way. Never that way. Always that way. pulling it, don't go too much at a time. You'll notice I didn't just go straight for the edge, work your way to it. Now, if you're on a budget, 
you could quite literally just buy this tool only and not that one at all I recommend this though to get that really nice neat finish but now that we've cleared out the bulk of it you can see the size of the cutter you can actually now get right in there and grab it and I can pull that off like that if you want a budget you've got a one-off job that will do it all but you're going to get a better finish rather than going in here with the proper curb cutting tool in doing this you can see now see why i bowled it out with the grinder we bowled it out this is why if you try to snap off the whole thickness of the tile at this stage there's a good chance you're going to crack it through but if i wanted a really nice neat edge i could get the grinder now and gently bowl that away and and and, and make this thinner and then i can get myself that beautiful edge that i'm chasing you can now you might just roll that up I'm pushing with mainly with a downward action. Pulling it up can cause that to chip. That's your, that's your trick there. Just bowling it out. If I wanted that absolutely perfect for some reason, if not, perhaps you're going to see the hole. There's a pipe going through. I can't see why. You always have some kind of sealant going around it. That's not really an issue. What I could do to get it even better is I could get my grinder and actually just wind that out like that to the sides. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to, how to make yourself a hole of any size you like. No need for diamond hole saw. It's pointless. In all my decades of doing tiling, I've never once drilled with a diamond hole saw. You just make your own. It does the trick. You got yourself a hole. Some of you may be thinking, I'm going to log off now. I get the idea. He's done it. Just watch what happens next.